A 500 Newton man stands on the floor of an elevator, as shown. If the man is standing on the scale that measures his weight, what does it read? What does the scale read if the elevator moves with an acceleration of 200 meters per second? What if it moves down with an acceleration of 2 meters per second? The first step we need to do in this problem is to identify the irrelevant concepts. We are given two accelerations. Both of them were labeled as A is equal to 2 meters per second. Now it's important to note that it said one was going up and one was going down. So we're going to actually have two accelerations. We're going to have the positive and a negative to indicate a up and a down direction. We also need to note that the scale is measuring the normal force. So the force that is opposite of the man that's being pushed down towards the floor. So if this is the floor and the man is standing here, he is being pulled down by a force and there is a normal force on the floor acting up like so. So we're looking for the normal force. So what does that equal? And This is going to be our target variable that we're going to try to identify. And the equation we're going to use is F equals MA. Now we're going to put this in the y direction because elevators typically move up and down. And what we're doing is we're looking for the summation of the forces in the y direction. So this here will be the equation we're going to use. And we're looking for the normal force as we sum up all of our forces. So let's go ahead and set that up. Here again we can go ahead and draw a sketch. Let's just look at the man. Pretend that dot is the man. We have a downward force due to the gravity. So this is his weight. And we also have an upward force of the elevator pulling him up. Now we have two situations, one where he's, the elevator is moving up and one where the elevator is moving down. But we're going to be using this diagram for both instances. I'll go ahead and split this in half. And again, we're going to label maybe the down direction of the Y as being positive. And just for a side note, remember that we were given the weight of the man was 500 Newton. And we're also given an acceleration of 2 meters per second and an acceleration of negative 2 meters per second. Now let's set up the mathematical expression. We have the F net for this one. And this is going to equal what were depicted on the left diagram. If we want the down direction to be everything positive and the up direction to be everything negative, then what we have is we have the weight, which is positive, minus n, which is going to be the negative direction. And all of this is going to equal ma for the y direction. Now remember, this y here is going to be this one here. And again, for the right-hand side, it's going to equal pretty much the same thing. The only difference is this ay is going to be the minus. So let's go ahead and execute this. So here I went ahead and executed part of the problem. This is what we saw in the last step of setting it up. We had F net for the up direction equal the weight minus the normal force, which equaled the mass times the acceleration in the y direction. Now if we went ahead and rearranged it here in this next step, we got the normal force. And that will equal the weight of the man who's in the elevator minus the mass and the acceleration. Now here's the tricky part. Since we indicated down here the down direction for being positive, we have to make sure we indicate the correct plus or minus sign for the acceleration. So if we are moving down and in this first problem we are looking for what happens if the elevator is moving up, the acceleration is going to be a minus 2. Because for our coordinate system, moving up is a minus direction. So if we went ahead and we plugged in a minus 2 here, 
we end up getting 500 plus 100 because then it would be a minus a negative 100 so that would give us 600 newtons if the elevator is moving up now if the elevator is moving down we get the opposite we get a positive 2 here and that would give us 500 minus 100 which would equal 400 now I also went ahead and solved for the actual mass here let me go ahead and undo that in this direction uh, I got the weight which equals mass times gravity which we were given as 500 newtons I went ahead and solved for the variable m and I came up with 50 kilograms here and I plugged it in for the mass in the previous steps that we just looked at I also used gravity as 10 meters per second squared just to simplify this problem a little bit so the next step is to evaluate these problems now we had 600 newtons and we had 400 newtons and the man's normal weight was 500 newtons so if the elevator was moving up and if the elevator was moving down now it seems reasonable because what a scale does is it's measuring the normal force so the force that the man is pushing down on the floor basically so by himself with only gravity he weighs only 500 newtons but if the elevator is moving upward now now he's kind of pushing down a little bit harder on the floor because he's resisting the moving up and that would cause him to weigh a little bit more so that makes sense now if the elevator is moving down with him he's gonna move a little bit less so if the elevator was moving down at the speed of gravity basically he would be in free fall but in this instance he wasn't in actual free fall so here the scale will make him read a little bit less so this checks out